It's got a nice little penalty there. Oh, let's look at let's get Gabamon on this ball. Let's see how good his penalty taking is right here on the left side. Oh, he dives too early. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new play review to do. Gbaumann. Gbaumann? Gbaumann. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but ladies and gentlemen, this card right here... I'm a Road to Glory guy, right? So when I first used Gbaumann's card in the beginning of the year, he was amazing for me. I absolutely loved using him. So I am 1000% gonna do this uh, gameplay objective for his card. But this one right now is just from me scoring goals and um, just doing that to try to get the card. This is a completely random team that I made from players that were just chilling in my club. You can see a lot of them are on basic and then these guys are from my main squad, but they give me those nice little chemistry links, right? So the way that I wanna try out Gabamon in the game is it's it's strictly, like I said with Axel Witzel, strictly, strictly, strictly CDM purpose-wise, right? So let's just take, check all his cards and see what needs to be improved on his card, right? So you look at the fact that his acceleration is 76 with 88 sprint speed. Great defensive stats, great physical, agility and balance is pretty decent considering transitioning is really fast in this game. Finishing is 45, which obviously really, really sucks, but... The whole point of this card is to be a strong defensive presence in the midfield, right? You have someone who is six foot one tall with medium high work rates playing in the Premier League, right? So if you want to do the fun concept of using Ndidi and um, Gabamin in the same team, you could, right? Because I think Ndidi has a four star weak foot, so it wouldn't necessarily not be worth using, right? So when you look at the card, let's just take a look at some things here, right? So when you look at the card specifically, we're going to go to a foot bin right now really quickly. And I'm going to show you guys a few things, right? So Gabamin's card, if we go to his foot miss card here, and I put a shadow on him, right? Look at the stats that they're giving him. He essentially has amazing pace, right? Amazing pace. With defensive stats being incredible as well, being upgraded to a certain amount. But he already is a physical type player. He's got a pretty decent stock in game. But... His jumping is obviously lacking, but I don't really care too much about winning the jumping anyways because it's more about winning the ball in the air in the midfield, but he's six foot one, so he'll be able to do that sometimes anyways, right? So not really a big issue there. I'm more concerned about the stamina, strength, and aggression, which he 100,000% has. So I have absolutely zero doubt that this card is going to be a very, very good center defensive mid player. I don't think he's going to be great at dribbling. I don't think he's going to be great at like creating space. That's the personal opinion before I even play with the card. However, I am going to be using him as a right center defensive mid. I do not recommend using him as the left center defensive mid because like I said in the Axel Witzel video, you want the four star weak foot on that left side or a left footed player just because of the way that the plays kind of transition, right? If you put a right footed player in the middle, you have to waste the time to transition into the middle with his right foot. And for me personally, it's not my personal taste in regards to play style, right? So uh, custom tactics wise, I'll show you guys how we will be lining up in game. So the same generic tactics that we usually use, except we will be doing bombing on the right side, right? So I have all these random guys like Rashford, Jesse Lingard, Trossard, and Salah on the team. Salah's going to lose his thing soon, but we'll just use somebody else in the future if I have to ever do a play review. So this is how we're going to play in game, exactly like this. Um, and we're essentially going to take it from there. So let's see how good he is. This is going to be without a shadow card. So like the Witzel video, you'll be able to see that it could be potentially a really, really big difference on the card, right? So let's see what he plays like. This ought to be special. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game. Is there it is. That's bombing right there. You see that? Hey, he gets the ball from behind too, which is brilliant. One touch. Go back. Wait for the space again. One more pass. He's gonna commit, and he still gets on me so quickly. Ah. Uh. How does he do that? Well, by being. All right, so we're gonna have to use the pace here from Rashford. He's definitely gonna make that run. There it is. Jesse Lingard distributing. A finesse shot there. There it is. We do that nice little skill move. He kind of backs off a little bit away from me just so that we can open up the space. We hold L1 and then we do basically like um, a body feint. Or no, it's not a body feint. It's the right stick. The right stick in that specific position. I flick it down and then I flick it up, right? So that's how I did that skill move. But it's just to open up the space for myself, put it on Rashford's strong foot, 
and score from there. There it is, Bauman, big, big player. Big player, huge in game. That little reach around for that defending is very, very important, and that's without shadow chemistry style. There it is, work the space. Rashford's gonna see the space here. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Don't force it, don't force it. It's supposed to be a fake shot there, but this gameplay is incredible. There you go. De Jong's gonna make that run. Nice and composed. A little touch, a little dabber of a finish. Nice little goal right there. You want to take all the little extra touches, get the finish properly. Here's the thing, right? So he doesn't have a chemistry style on his card, so look at how poor this actual finish is, right? Not really to the right side in that position. I think he should definitely be doing better, even without the chemistry style on his card. But uh, it is what it is. We're 2 0 up right now. Let's see if Rashford wants to get another goal here. All these little intricate touches is very important to score these opportunities. So apparently his name is Gabaman. Gabaman. So I think I, I think I was pronouncing it right. I'm not even sure to be honest with you. Losing possession a bit well, but now they've lost it. So it's always going to be the problem with the CDMs that are more clunky, right? Players like Witzel, players like Gabaman, is that their dribbling is so. It's so slow that it actually kind of ruins your potential attack, right? Because when you look at De Jong, right, that little dribble dribble he does there is what opens up the space for me, right? So right there, I tried to do a fake shot, but he's like, nah, B. Uh, but yeah, you know, trying to take all those little extra touches is the important thing for you to score. Like being able to do this with De Jong and then go back downwards, open up that space, take those little quick cuts, right? Are, it's just a very, very important thing in FIFA. And when CDMs don't specifically have that, it's just not ideal. But you can see that he obviously has a crazy defensive presence on the card. So it's worth using in regards to that, but it's just something to take into consideration when you, you when you do use these types of cards. Like I am considering uh, taking William Carvalho out of my regular team because of the fact that his agility and balance is so slow, it actually kind of ruins the experience of playing FIFA, especially if your game plays not up to par, right? Like if your game plays not up to par, you're not gonna be able to, um, you're not gonna be able to move at all, right? So you have to take those things into consideration when you're using certain cards in FIFA. Got a nice little penalty there. Oh, let's look at let's get Gabamin on this ball. Let's see how good his penalty taking is right here on the left side. Oh, he dives too early. He dives way too early. I don't I don't know what the, what kind of thing that is there, but I'll take it. Working the space for that near post shot, and he's probably gonna rage quit from now on, and he does. So so far, Gabamin's card, honestly, not as special as Witzel's card. I will be the first to say that he's not as special as Witzel's card. Is he a very solid defensive mid? Yes, but the fact that he lacks in like this attacking presence is what's throwing me off about his card right now. Okay, guys, so nothing else really needs to be said about the card. Uh, he's a very very generic good CDM to have, right? Someone who has pace, who has defense, who has physical, and who's off the ball movement in regards to the medium high work rates uh, that he has. It's, it's a very, very generic CDM card that has medium high with height and physical presence, right? Now, I would use this card for the fun concept because I think he's a really, really fun card to use. And if I unlock him through a gameplay objective, why not? It's a free card you're unlocking through the gameplay objective. Some of the objectives are not even that crazy to do, although some of them require you to do squad battles, and I hate squad battles, but it is what it is, right? Um, he's a right-footed player, so you have to specifically use him in the right center defensive mid position. Uh, like I said, if you do end up using this card in your actual team because you want to link him with some Everton players, I don't know, maybe you have like a flashback Theo Walcott or something, right? Um, and you want to have like a fun concept there, and then maybe they give like Seamus Coleman like a flashback card or whatever it is, right? Um, it's worth it's worth using in that regard, right? It definitely is worth using in that regard for the fun concept. Like I said, that's why when I think about players like Flashback Walcott and stuff, 
these are players that you should be able to attain through just playing the game, not just like, oh, here's a specific time frame. If you didn't get it, too bad for you. You know, that's one of those things that I always think of all the time. But uh, yeah, it's like I said, guys, if you guys do end up using the card, I would highly, highly recommend slapping a shadow on him because like it is said here on Footbin, 15 plus on the acceleration, 10 plus on the sprint speed, and then great defensive boost. He was already very good with pace without the shadow card on normal chemistry style with full 10 chemistry. So on shadow, you only know he's going to be an even like he's going to be a stronger defensive presence in your midfield. So um, do I recommend getting the card on your team? Yeah, I do. He's, he's, he's a fun card to use. And again, like I said, I always tell you guys, man, with Ndidi, if you put Ndidi in your team, you have someone with a four star weak foot. Right, because look, he's a four-star weak foot right there, who's also medium high. So yeah, you'll have two sluggish players, but you'll have two players that are tall that have the defensive presence to do really well, right? Because they're both physical already. You give them shadow, you're increasing their pace as much as possible, as well as their defensive stats, and they'll just be very, very good cards for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this player review as well. Those are the two player reviews we have today. I'm so sorry, I don't have the Simone video out. In all fairness. The gameplay I just played right now for the Simone and for um, and for Bauman, uh, Gabalman's card was terrible, okay? You could even see the sliding gameplay from this one game I played, which is why I decided to just play one game. But enough to try out the card. It's unfortunate that I couldn't get the Simone player review out for you guys because I know that you guys wanted to see that one, but... I just, I, you know, I just, it's all about this for me, you know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for the next Footmas reviews, all right? Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.